I'm John Severinghouse. I've been working up at this laboratory since 1962, mostly at the Barcroft, but here also at the summit. This laboratory was actually built in the 50s by a group from Berkeley working with Nello Pace. Mostly they were physiology graduate students. And as I understand it, they actually did the work of building this summit hut at 14,246 feet although they now have added five feet to it. I don't know if that means it's really going up or not. But uh, <clears throat> we began working mostly at the Barcroft in order to test a problem with the regulation of breathing in people. The question was whether the hyperventilation that we get, which persists when we go back to sea level, could be explained by spinal fluid acidosis. So we sampled each other their spinal fluid at the Barcroft, and everybody thought we were being very brave. We were, in fact, all anesthesiologists, so we were quite used to taking spinal fluid samples and did it on each other. Some of us got headaches from it, but it uh, turned out to be a, a significant finding because the spinal fluid did explain the uh, failure to understand the acclimatization to high altitude. And that set off a whole train of studies which went on for the next maybe 25 or 30 years until we really understood what was going on. Although we still don't really understand all the processes by which the blood-brain barrier corrects for the alkalosis that you get because of hyperventilation when you come to high altitude. Well, we started using this summit laboratory shortly thereafter to try to look for even higher <clears throat> altitude effects on pulmonary circulation, on uh, bronchoconstriction, on the compliance of the lung, and a resetting of the blood. Um, it's called the affinity for oxygen, or P50. That is the pressure of oxygen that half saturates the blood with hemoglobin, the hemoglobin with oxygen. So we did studies up here. Um, in which we equilibrated our own blood samples with different oxygens and measured the saturation and the PO2 values. And we did arterial samples and we did pulmonary function studies. We had a lot of equipment up here, big spirometers. And of course, this beautiful little facility was set up with um, running hot and cold water and a heater and beds for four. We sometimes had six or eight people up here the way this group right now has seven or eight staying at Summit, <coughs> some of them not having beds to sleep on. The road hasn't changed much in the 40 years since we started working up here. It's never been any good. Uh, it's still bad, but vehicles can still make it. We still do. It's a great place to be. <coughs> and it's wonderful that studies are still going on. The present study, an interesting one, which Marlow Eldridge and I started about Oh, I guess five or six years ago, when it became obvious that process called angiogenesis is probably responsible for the, not only the high altitude headaches and cerebral edema, but also for nosebleeds. So we washed each other's noses out with water and then took the, uh, wa the lavage fluid back to the laboratory frozen and sampled it for vascular endothelial growth factor, VEGF. Sure enough, when you go to high altitude, that goes way up. And then after a day or so at altitude, it goes back down. You go to a higher altitude, it goes up farther. Marl collected samples like that from a group of 15 in the Caracorum about five years ago. And we finally got a paper together on that, <coughs> which I presented in Manchester just a few weeks ago as a poster. Marlowe couldn't go to that because he was working on this project. A few years back, Marlowe and I came up here <coughs> just to do the first of those samples. Marlowe actually ran all the way from Barcroft up here, and he, he made a, a record at that time, 61 minutes from Barcroft to the summit. That's been beat a couple of times now by people who were really racing. Marlowe didn't know he was running a race. He just ran. And I, got, I was up here before he came so I could time him at the arrival at the summit. 61 and a half minutes, I guess it was. Well, it's been a great place to have search going on, and it's great to be back.
This is the first time I've been here, I guess, for five, six years.